have here is x squared minus 4x equals 21. So um, they're asking us to solve it, right? So ladies and gentlemen, let's say I pretend I had a function. f of x equals x squared minus 4x minus 21. If I said find the zeros, what do I, what's the first step I do? Detroit Red Rings, what do I do? First step I do. When I say find the zeros of this function, first thing I do, set it equal to zero. Right? Because then I can set it equal to zero, I can now factor it and apply the zero product property. Right? Good. So I can solve it now in this case. So if I'm giving you a problem like this, what do you think we want to make it equal to? Zero. zero, right? So take this function and set it equal to zero. So subtract the 21. Therefore, I have x squared minus 4x minus 21 equals zero. Now I have this equation, or this expression, equal to zero. Now I can factor and apply the zero product property. So now what I just need to do is factor this. So I have x squared minus 4x minus 21. So I need to determine what two numbers multiply to give me negative 21 but then add to give me negative 4. And that answer is? Now, if you are confused or you're like, ah, was that it? You can always remember check your answer by applying FOIL and multiplying this out. Now I have x minus 7 equals 0 and x minus 3 equals 0. So therefore, x equals 7 and x equals negative 3. Is that the top of it? Yep. That's what it needs to multiply. 